cultural expressions of love for the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam were already being expressed in the presence of the Messenger of Allah by different cultures, not only the Arabs, like I gave you the example of the children of Banu Najjar, the young girls with their dafs, but the Banu Arfida, the Abyssinians, when Rasulullah came into Al Madinatul Munawwara, they danced around the Messenger of Allah. They had their their spears and they had their uh, Shield. their shields and they were dancing around the Messenger of Allah because that, you know, as we call it in South Africa, toy toying. So that was their cultural expression of their love for Rasulullah. And some of the Sahaba can also said, oh, what are these doing? So the Prophet said, oh, Banu Arfida, leave them. Don't go, leave them. Don't leave them. Because, and he, he identified them with their specific culture. They are the Banu Arfida, they are the Abyssinians. This is their culture. And Ja'far uh, bin Abi Talib, ta'ala anhu, when he came from Abyssinia and the Prophet of Allah spoke <laughs> to him, he also did a bit of a jig around the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophet of Allah permitted it. So all of these cultural expressions, like we said, you know, whether it's in song, poetry, dance, or doing a toy toy with your spears and your and your and your shields and so on, they were already established as cultural and, and permissible cultural expression by the Messenger of Allah. And when they were singing around him, they were singing in their language. Right? And Prophet of Allah couldn't understand what they were saying because they were speaking in the Abyssinian language. So then they, someone translated and said, they say, Oh Prophet of Allah, they are saying Muhammadun Abdun Salih. They are saying Muhammad is, is, is a pious and a devotee of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they sang it in their language. So for our brothers and sisters who are of African origin, we need to direct them towards their own cultures and their own personal cultural expressions and get them to sing in their language, whether it's Toza, whether it is Zulu, whether it is Soto, and so on there so that they can identify with the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which goes beyond the barriers of language which goes beyond the barriers of race and color but the unifying factor is the name Muhammad and all of these cultural expressions were already established as a sunnah in the era of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.